Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is another creative art haul. I'll be sure to leave links for everything in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little timeline jumping around between this haul when I got things. So I wanted to start with the most current because I'm most excited about these ones and I think you guys might be as well. We got a package from Jackson's that I have been waiting for. I love Jackson's, but being in the US, it does take a little while to get packages. I wanna say this one took about two weeks because they are in the UK. I am so excited to finally have a Cotty fat book. I have been seeing this on many YouTube channels and it's just so hard to find for the US. Um, I've checked on Amazon and some art supply stores, but really the only place was Jackson's. Now they were out when I had originally looked, so I put in my email so that they could notify me when it became available. So I got the email, it was available, immediately went over to the site and I almost put two in my cart <laughs> because they are such a good price. They're like, I don't know, $14 or something. And this is handmade, 100% cotton, acid-free, handmade cotton rag paper. And I love, oh my gosh, I just, I love the deckled edges. I love how floppy it is. I, I don't know, it is like an off-white um, paper and it does feel somewhat thin for being 100% cotton, but I just, I don't know, I love the feeling of this uh, sketchbook and you get so, so, so many pages. I don't know, I just, I can't wait to use this. And then, while I was on Jackson's, putting this in my cart, I happened to notice they were having a sale on Roman Schmall watercolors. Oh my gosh. So I got in, you know, one or two, a couple or a handful. I just couldn't help myself. They were on sale. Let's, let's see what we what we got here. I got myself 12 more colors of Roman Schmall. Very exciting. This brand of paint is so affordable. I just, if you saw my last haul video, had a whole bunch of Roman Schmall colors and I think I cannot wait to get these all in a palette opened up and swatched out. So let's see what I got in addition to my colors from my last haul. Here we have Raspberry Red. Quinacridone Warm Scarlet, Nickel Tungsten Yellow, Azo Yellow, I had to get this new Bismuth Orange, Indanthrone Blue, Prussian Blue, Misty Morning, Strontium Violet, Aquarius Violet, Shadow Violet, and Chromium Green Oxide. So I can't wait to add these to my other colors and we are gonna do a big swatching video with that. Next, which I think is already gone up by the time you see this video, but I just received this. And that is the Sarah Burns gouache subscription box. I had signed up for this at the end of last year and I just got the first box. So I'm excited to be doing this this year. This was one of my treats to myself at the end of the year. Since that video is probably already up, I will link it in the card above or in the description below if you want to check that out. So really quick, I just wanted to show this book. I actually forgot to include this in my last art haul um, when I had bought stuff in the first quarter of 23. It was like springtime. So this is a really, really cool wildflower watercolor book by Sushma Hedge, I think is how you pronounce it. But this was recently released, I think um, 
2022. She actually has a YouTube channel. It's a really, really nice book. Let me do a little flick through. So if you're into painting flowers, I would definitely recommend checking out this book. I will have it linked below if you want to check it out and maybe like read a sample on Amazon or something. Next, we got this stack of stuff I got for Christmas or as Christmas gifts or around Christmas that I wanted to share. One of them is a, another book. It is The Beginner's Guide to Urban Sketching by Taria Dawson. Her channel is Taria's Sketchy Adventures. So she's another YouTuber. I'm not sure if you follow her, definitely do recommend checking her out, but I definitely had to get her book. It was recently released um, in December and I asked for it for Christmas. So it is full of her artwork and processes and a really good book if you want to get into urban sketching. The next thing I received was this, the Turner Acryl 36 color gouache set. And look at those, aren't they so yummy? These are acrylic gouache by Turner and these are larger tubes. These are 20 mil tubes. So these are a good size tubes compared to, I believe the Holbein are smaller. The Holbeins are just so expensive. So these are, still up there but not quite as expensive i don't know if you've seen the channel art by tuna she makes these amazing amazing acrylic gouache pet portraits that i am just like obsessed with i wanted to try my hand at it because she does do like a little bit of tutorials not step by step but she does give a little insight into her process and i definitely wanted to test out trying to make some of my own portraits. So I got this set for Christmas. And then along with that, I also got this set of Arteza brushes. I didn't want to use my good watercolor brushes with these acrylic gouache. So I wanted a separate brush set so that way they don't get ruined. I would just keep them separate. So this is a 12 pack and you get a whole variety of brush tips and this will be just dedicated to my acrylic gouache set. Then we have this big stack. This is all kind of like together. So I guess I will start with the main item which is this massive screen printing kit. Screen printing is something I've always wanted to try and dabble in like the very hands-on process and this is like all inclusive because you even get the special light that you need to burn your screen to transfer your design onto before you do any screen printing. I forget everything that's included so let's let's open it up. This is gonna be very hard to get on camera. You have your exposure light kit. So this is gonna simulate like a dark room. And I think what I will do is I have a mini walk-in closet that I think would be great because that's gonna be a very dark area, no windows. And while it's not a full walk-in closet, it's large enough that I could probably set this up in there um, to burn the screen. It comes with a couple squeegees. We got a larger one and a smaller one. We got some gloves, tape, probably tape your screen. We got some pouring cups. Not quite sure what you use that for. This is the emulsion tray and the um, photo emulsion where you coat your screen and that's what you burn your design into. These look like all inks. It's nice because you get, it looks like red, yellow, blue, green, black, and white. We got a whole ink pack here. Um, it looks like just a little bit of each color. These jars aren't huge but probably just enough to do like a couple shirts, which I'm just trying to test it out. Looks like we got some scrapers and then you got three different size screens. Yeah, so this is just a little beginner um, test kit that I do want to test out and make a video about. 
And then along those same lines, I also got this transparency film. They make two different kinds, one for laser printers and one for inkjet printers. But this is what you actually need to print your design on. And then this is what the um, light goes through to burn the design onto the screen. So whatever is black will wash away and everything else will stay. So I think it's like a like an opposite uh, negative effect. This comes with 20 sheets. So that was something they did not include in the kit, but is needed. And then just finally, we got a couple shirts. I got two white shirts and one black shirt because I wanted to see how the ink works on the black. After Christmas, I noticed um, Michael's had a decent sale that I wanted to go and check out. These three packs of the Tombow dual brush pen sets. Now, the sign I saw had them half off, so I definitely grabbed a couple packs, and when I went to check out, they rang up as full price, and I was like, oh, there was a sign over there, you know, do you want me to go back and take a picture? And she goes, no, I will go get it. And I was like, okay. Um, I didn't know if she didn't believe me or something, but when she came back, uh, she actually told me that that sign was actually supposed to be removed, but she was going to give me the price. So I got this amazing deal of these were 50% off and I wish I had grabbed another pack or two because that was such a great price. So this will add to my collection of Tombow dual brush pens. Another thing that was on sale there was this canvas super value pack, uh, eight pack of 10 by 10 canvases. I think they were like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Very affordable and something I wanted to start getting into was using water mixable oils. Now I had gotten these oils, I don't know, two Christmases ago, I want to say maybe Black Friday of 22, and I haven't used them yet, and I really want to. I really would like to do pet portraits, so I love the square canvas size, like almost like an Instagram layout, and I thought if I did a couple and hung them up, they would look really nice together. And because I was, you know, talking about using the water mixable oils, I needed a palette. I don't really have a palette for the oil paints and this is just a big transparent oval palette so this is what it looks like and you can put your thumb in here if you want to hold it but I'd probably just lay it on the table and if you really needed like you could put gray paper underneath or white um, or I have a white table so that really doesn't matter and then the last thing I got there was this three pack synthetic brushes again just for painting on here a larger area and I don't have brushes this big so I wanted a bigger set of brushes to cover larger areas. So these were pretty cheap as well. That's all I got at Michael's. After my Michael's, I got this stack of packages here. I wanted to get some things to go along with my stuff from my last haul. So, for example, I have, um, I got this Magello Airtight Leak Proof Watercolor Palette that holds 33 colors. Now, I had showed in my last art haul video that I got all those, um, I believe they were Sheen Hand watercolors, but I needed a palette to put them in. So this is what I got. Here is the palette. Got a little clip here and it opens up. Now up top here is a mixing tray that actually pops out so you can use both sides. I do like that and I do like that it stays put when you flip open the lid, it doesn't fall out. It was just, it was really hard to find a palette for the number of colors that I wanted and I didn't want to get separate palettes. I wanted to put them all together. In this package, I got a couple things. 
So I found these two pads of Arches 100% cotton uh, cold pressed watercolor paper, nine by 12. I thought these were a pretty good deal. So Arches is very expensive. I can't remember the price. I'll have to pull up the price to look, but these seemed like they were not that bad. And if you watched my Kuretake Gansai Tambi Art Nouveau swatching video, I wanted to start using more 100% cotton papers and doing a filling out my swatch book. So I needed to order some more paper. Like I said, I thought it was a decent deal. So I picked up two and I will have it linked below. So I also got two more um, Magello. These are the fusion palettes and I got them in two different colors so that way I could distinguish them. So this is the blue one and also has the same little latch. Pull it open. You got your colors around the edge, two mixing wells, and then these ones also have a mixing tray, but they are clear. I'm not sure why they are clear. It would have been nice if these were also white, but I guess if you never take it out, it'll be a white background. It's nice to have the additional space if you do. I think my intention with this set was to put my spring colors in or that pastel set that I got. Let me see if I can pull it out. So this was the set of 12 colors that I was going to put in this blue palette. Yeah, palette of 18. So these colors are gonna go in here. This is from my last haul but I just, like I said, didn't have anywhere to put them. Now this pink one, I'm not going to open it because it's the same exact one. I also purchased Sargent Art watercolor crayons. Now, some people are saying these are a dupe for the Karen Dash colors. There are 36 and let me show you them. Now, I think it was Emma LaFave that posted a video on her channel comparing these to the Karen Dash colors. It shocked her. They performed so well. Um, and these ones I think were actually more vibrant. Now there are pros and cons to them before people start jumping into the comments. Obviously the Karen Dash are of higher quality. They are made better. However, if you're looking for something like the Neo colors, but you don't care about the light fastness and the pigments, if you're just playing in your sketchbook and not making professional art, then these are totally fine. I will link her video in the description below. I highly recommend checking it out if you've ever wanted the Karen Dash Neo colors, but maybe they were just too expensive expensive, which that's the case for me. I couldn't justify spending that amount of money if it's, you know, something I might not end up liking. So these are just a fraction of the cost and I thought it would be a really neat idea to cut off some of them and put them in a palette and make like paint out of them. I saw another video do this, or another channel, and I believe it was Helen Cryer, another great channel, totally recommend checking her out, but she did it with the Neo colors and it worked. So I'm like, if these are dupes, then maybe that would work as well. So that is something I definitely wanted to play around with. Next is a book. Um, this is the sketchbook idea generator book. I've been seeing this on a few channels and it just seems like a great idea. It was a little hard to find. There's some mediums. It talks about some mediums and stuff in the beginning, but the best part about this book is like a flip book. Like it's cut up in three different sections is what I mean to say. There, the top one is the subject, the second one is the medium or technique, and the last one is colors or like a color palette. On days that you might be struggling to come up with an idea or you have motivation to create something but you just don't know what, this is gonna be for those days because you can just randomly flick through one at a time, just stop, modern building you can flick through medium of your choice and then 
just a random color palette. Say you like your subject and your medium, but maybe you just want to change the color palette. I thought this was a, a different take on a like idea generator. There's digital ones and stuff, but this was just, I don't know. I really like that they even include some of the doodles and stuff because it helps like jumpstart your brain. I just thought this was really fun, really good idea for those days I just, I want to just play around. Again, we'll have that linked below. Next, I got a couple sketchbooks. This one is a to Marta sketchbook. It says it's 100% cotton cold press. This is four by six, um, 140 pounds. I was looking for something smaller to fit in my like purse or something to maybe sketch on the go. This came up for a decent price. However, as I was flipping through the sketchbook, I don't know if it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to see this, but this is one of those sketchbooks where it's different sides. So this one has more of a texture and this side is really smooth. This is kind of annoying. You could probably just skip over those pages or just like sketch on them with pencil rather than the watercolor because the watercolors are gonna look very different one side to the other. I don't know. I don't know how this happens with some factories if they're using a press and so there's an obvious front and back but then when they sew it to make signatures, you're folding it and so therefore you're getting the different um, textures to the each side. But I mean, I guess it's just a cheaper sketchbook to go in my purse and I really shouldn't complain too much. So not sure if I quite recommend this one. The other one I got was this Hannah Mule zigzag sketchbook. And for the price, I thought this was very tiny. Um, I don't have experience with these zigzag accordion sketchbooks, but I wanted to try it out. And when this arrived, like it is so small, but here it is all stretched out. And I thought about using this to do like a 30 day challenge or like a collection of things like maybe shoes or favorite tea mugs or something like that and just have a continuous sketchbook. It's also got this interesting loop that you just bring it over the corner, which is kind of different. It says it's 300 GSM, 140 pound paper, and there's 18 pages. Doesn't say that it's cotton. So this might be just cellulose paper, which again, it was just, just a a higher price than I expected. I got these Inktense paint pan set number one, but I really enjoyed using them. The colors were very vibrant, so I wanted to pick up the second set. They do have a whole set with all of them together, a 24 pan set, but honestly, I didn't like how long it was. It would make it very hard to travel with, and then I already had the other set, so it didn't make sense. So. If I wanted the whole set, I just had to get the this set. So now I have the whole set and I'll probably do a video on that. Here I have the Rosa Gallery uh, watercolor mono pigmented set of 21. Now I've seen a lot of Rosa Gallery videos and they've been on my radar. I've been wanting to try them. However, I didn't know that they made a mono pigmented set. I definitely had to grab that and test that out because I'd rather have single pigment paints because they mix. Here are the colors inside. So I will open it up, but I won't be swatching them in this video. They come packaged very well. And these are the paints that are made in Ukraine, if you weren't aware. So here is the tin. It's this nice dark navy blue color. I don't think I have any tins this color and it feels good quality with the thumb loop. And got your mixing trays. And here they are. They look like they're a little jumbled from shipping. Oh, some of these colors look so yummy. Like this one right here, cobalt turquoise. They also have their logo stamped in the bottom of the pan. Pigment number along with the light fastness rating and the opacity 
over here. And these look like just like a sticker so that way you could just pull them off. Another set I'm super excited about swatching out. Oh, I forgot to pull these out when I was talking about my sketchbooks, but I wanted to pick up another travel brush set. So it comes in this faux leather pouch and there's actually four of them in there. Let's see if I can get them all out. So here they are. And the great thing about these is they actually have a twist top. Most travel brushes just slide in and out, but I have found some that keep slipping apart and are hard to stay together. Whereas this one, you take it out and you screw it in. So therefore you don't have to worry about them falling apart. So let me get them all on done and put together so you can see them all. I already had a pack of three round brushes and I've talked about them in my watercolor travel art kit video. I really like them. They're affordable enough that I don't get nervous about being too rough with them. I found that they made this other set which I think is pretty new because I didn't remember seeing these when I bought my last ones. So we have a number six flat brush. We have a number eight cat's tongue. We have a number eight round and we have a number two round. So you got quite a variety of brush shapes with this. It's very hard to find travel brushes in flats and definitely cat's tongue. This set, again, very affordable. They have the holes on the bottom, so that way when you put brushes away, maybe a little bit wet or damp, they can get some airflow and definitely dry out. And then with this travel pouch, they make it so easy to carry around with. Highly recommend these brushes. I love the other brushes I had by this company. And with the addition of the twist top feature, it's really nice to see because I think even some professional brands don't have the twist top. So next I got um, this Paul Rubens block of watercolor paper. It's 50% or at least it's supposed to be. I literally don't see it marked anywhere. It's 300 DSM, there's 20 sheets, it's 5.3 by 7.6. There's, it literally says nowhere that it's 50% cotton, but that's how it was advertised. And the reason I got it was because I wanted to do a comparison between um, the Canson Cellulose, the Fabriano 25% cotton, and I needed a 50% cotton and then the 100%. So that way you could see a range of papers and how the same paint like reacts on all of them. I thought that would be a really neat um, comparison video, but I don't like that it doesn't specifically say 50% because I feel like I can't trust it, right? Like how do I know it's 50% for sure instead of 100 or 25 or just freaking cellulose. Um, I will, I'll put the listing up on the screen to show you what I was looking at. Does anyone know for sure if this is 50% cotton? We are nearing the end of this haul and I have just a few more things. Here is a stack of books. So one of them is How to Teach Nature Journaling by John Muir Laws and Emily Ligren. Now I have his other video, The Art of Nature Journaling, that I really love. But as I mentioned again in my last haul video about getting stuff to create little like watercolor kits and possibly teaching a watercolor class, I thought this would be a great um, resource to read up on how to teach maybe nature journaling or sketchbooking if I wanted to do like a nature journal in the summer, do like a sketchbook club or something like that. And I thought this would be really cool um, to learn about in terms of like assignments and prompts and things to help people get started. Probably not everyone would be interested in this book, but I definitely recommend his other book, 
Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about it, but this is his other book, The Law's Guide to Nature, Jour Nature Drawing and Journaling. Love this book. Um, this is How to Draw Animals, um, Plants. It's, it's a great book. Um, I've had this a while, as you can see from the discoloration. And then, this is not necessarily art related, but it's still creative related. And this is my new obsession into pottery. I had taken a few hand building clay classes and just absolutely fell in love. So I got a couple books and I think I may even start a second YouTube channel just for the pottery because I'm not sure that you guys would necessarily like to see that. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments below or if you think a separate channel would be better. This is all about throwing pottery. This is all about pottery techniques, hand building, um, different things you can do with pottery. But yeah, I just want to keep that brief because I know it's not necessarily art like watercolor related or painting, but it's just my new creative obsession. So that is it for today's haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know maybe what your favorite item was down in the comments below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!